The following tutorial is brought to you by wholeloops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're taking the best preset that comes with Ableton and making it even better. I'm talking about the OTT preset for multiband dynamics. Now, the only thing that could make this preset better, in my opinion, is having a four band version, maybe lower mids and upper mids to accompany your highs and lows. So I've created a really easy workaround to turn this incredible three band OTT preset into a four band monster. So let's jump right in. So we can use the default preset as a starting point but the first thing I want to do is just turn down the output minus three and turn all these up to about five and turn all these to about five as well. And the next thing I want to do is turn the amount knob to 50%, then change our low value to 200 and our high value to 4,000. And from here, we're ready to put it into an audio effect rack and create some duplicates. So I'm going to hit one, two, three, and we've now created four of the same chain. And I'm gonna color these so it's easier to tell them apart. I like using the colors that are next to each other. I think it just looks nice. And let's name these sub, low mids, high mids, and highs. Because these are the four bands that I would love to have some OTT control over. So now let's go ahead in and assign these bands to the correct frequencies. So for our subs, I'm going to turn off the highs and mids and solo the lows. Grab this thing and pull it over and then pull it back a little bit. So you get rid of the brown thing, but don't have it all the way against the end. And then you can grab these other ones and just throw them all the way against the edge until they disappear and then move up to the next band. So we've already soloed it, turn the other ones off so we can just go straight to this step. Put this up, back it off a little bit. Get rid of these two because we don't need them. Same with this one. This is a duplicate of the mids. Just turn these off and let's change these to, instead of 4,000 on top, let's have this one only go up to 900 and then we'll have this one start at 900 and go up to 4,000. And then this one, we can turn off our lows. We could just get rid of these two. I almost forgot the last step, push this over, pull this back. So now that we've got all of our OTT set up, let's assign some macro knobs so we don't have to keep going in here and clicking on the different chains to get to the controls that we want. I'm gonna color these the exact same way I did the channels, except for I'm gonna do pairs of each color. So on the left, I'm gonna do the first color, beside it the next, and now we're gonna rename these. Sub amount, sub gain. And these are gonna be our macro controls that we have easy access over because they're a macro here in our audio effect rack. Now that we've got them labeled, we can very easily assign them to where they belong. So we're gonna send this to sub amount because the percent knob is the amount knob on OTT. Same with this, low mids amount, high mids amount. I swear we're almost done with the boring part. And then highs amount, got the first four knobs popping. Then we could do highs gain, go backwards down the list, high mids, low mids, and finally sub. Does your mastering sound like hot trash? Have you wasted countless hours trying to finish your song with no results? Introducing Ozone Master Sauce our cleanest and most powerful mastering preset ever for Isotope Ozone 8. Sauce up your song today with Ozone Master Sauce. Available now only at Holoops.com. So now we've created a very handy preset. Let's turn this off and play our vocal and turn it on and dial these knobs a little bit and enjoy four knobs of OTT perfection. Nice. Need some of that ice cold You hit me like two stones and it felt so good Yeah, yeah Oh, oh, I 
think that you're trouble The way that you control the things I do Yeah, yeah If it were up to me If it were up to me You would stay to the morning And we would get no sleep If it were up to me If it were up to me You would be the only One I call my queen And now to save this preset, all you got to do is hit the save button and give it a name. I called mine 4Ban OTT, hit enter, and you've got yourself your preset that you can now easily load up on any other channel of your song. Let's try 4Ban OTT here on this Pluck Boy channel. We'll just drop it on. Hey. That's saucin'. Let's unsolo it and listen to it with the mix. And off. Put back on. Let's use this bass guitar as an example. A lot of the hits overlap with the kick, and I would love to sidechain it to get it out of the way and let the kick shine a little bit more, but it would take the attack and growl of the bass, and I really only want to sidechain the low end. This is where 4-Ban OTT absolutely comes in handy. Let's just, let's not OTT the sub-band. So putting this at 0% will get rid of all the expansion that we're doing here, but it'll still keep it soloed so we have a channel here to drop a compressor on. So let's take a compressor, put it on our lows, and open up the sidechain settings, and let's tell the kick to be the input. Hey. And now let's turn it off. And let's turn it off here on the plugs. Now let's say you didn't want to put OTT on the lower mids and you wanted to put something else on the lower mids. Well, if you take the amount knob and turn this down, then this four band OTT rack now has become your four band splitter where you could put any plugin on any band. So let's try and put a waves plugin on the lower mids, like the axe. Let's do the, let's do the stereo version. Let's turn this down. You can turn this down. And then maybe you want to put a flanger on the mids after that. We can pull the flanger out of the chain and just put it on the lower mids band instead. Let's turn the dry wet all the way up. And we can solo just the flanged. Maybe that's not the right spot to flange. Let's try flanging the upper mids. There we go, that's what I like better. I feel like the, that's the perfect spot to put the flanger. Let's unsolo this. Very big difference between having the flanger on the whole thing and having the flanger just on the upper mids. And the ability to put a countless amount of third-party plugins, anything you'd be able to drop into a channel strip, you can also drop onto one of the bands of this four-band OTT chain. Well, there you have it. How to make the best preset in Ableton even better. 
I hope you found all the tips, tricks, and shortcuts in this tutorial useful. And if you want to check out some of my more advanced audio effect racks like Lead Vocal Sauce or Disrespect Sauce, you can check all those out at wholeloops.com. Until then, I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.